Imagine you're in an elevator, and suddenly it starts to plummet. What would you do? A chilling thought, isn't it? Most of us have our own theories about how to survive, jumping just before it hits the ground, perhaps. But the laws of physics have a different story to tell. A free-falling elevator doesn't give you that window to jump. The reality is far from our misconceptions. Understanding the scenario is the first step towards survival. Now let's see how to increase our chances. So, you're in a falling elevator. Your first instinct might be to jump, but that's a myth. Here's what you should do instead. The first step to surviving a falling elevator is to lie down flat on the floor. This may sound counterintuitive, and you might be inclined to brace against the walls or the handrails. But lying flat evenly distributes the force of impact across your entire body, reducing the risk of serious injury. Next, protect your head. Use your arms, a bag, a jacket, anything you can find to cushion it. This is crucial. The head and the spinal cord are the most vulnerable parts of the body during a high-impact fall. By protecting your head, you're significantly reducing the possibility of a life-threatening injury. Finally, remain calm. This might be the hardest part, but it's vital. Panic can lead to poor decisions and unnecessary movements that could increase your risk of injury. Take deep controlled breaths. Remind yourself that elevators are designed with multiple safety mechanisms to slow down a fall. Remember, every second is crucial. Your actions should be swift yet calculated. Each step is designed to maximize your chances of survival. Following these steps can significantly increase your chances of surviving a falling elevator. But remember, it's always better to take the stairs. In the chaos of a falling elevator, it's easy to forget what to do. So let's recap. Our journey began with the unexpected fall, a heart-stopping moment that can occur due to various factors. We then navigated the survival guide, a set of crucial steps that can potentially save your life. The first and foremost rule is to stay calm. Easier said than done, but it's imperative. Panic can cloud your judgment and prevent you from taking the right actions. The next step is to lay flat on the floor, distributing your body weight evenly. This position can help cushion the impact. It's important to remember that such an event is rare. Elevators are designed with multiple safety features to prevent free falls. But in the unlikely event that it does happen, being prepared can be a game changer. Being prepared and knowing what to do can make all the difference. So the next time you're in an elevator, remember these survival tips. Stay safe and thanks for watching. It's for